But first, breaking news. Nikki Haley, the final Republican challenger to former President Trump, has suspended her campaign. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Justin Warmoth. The former U.N. ambassador's decision means an election rematch between President Biden and former President Trump is now all but certain. And CBS's Skylar Henry has more from Washington. Former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley announced she's suspending her campaign for the Republican presidential nomination. Although I will no longer be a candidate, I will not stop using my voice for the things I believe in. Haley, the last major GOP challenger to former President Trump, is dropping out following his decisive Super Tuesday victories in almost every state that held a primary. They uh, call it Super Tuesday for a reason. This is a big one. In her speech Wednesday, Haley notably did not endorse the former president. It is now up to Donald Trump to earn the votes of those in our party and beyond it who did not support him. And I hope he does that. During his victory speech Tuesday night, the former president focused on his all but certain general election rematch with President Biden. November 5th is going to go down as the single most important day in the history of our country. The former president also called for unity but it's unclear how many of Haley's supporters he'll pick up. It hurts my soul to say that I will vote for Joe Biden over Donald Trump. President Biden dominated Super Tuesday on the Democratic side, but not all Democrats are behind him. In Minnesota, those protesting his handling of the Israel-Hamas war voted uncommitted. We did this for the people of Gaza. We did it for the children of Gaza. Organizers there and in other states are calling on Biden to back a permanent ceasefire or else risk losing their support in November. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington.